So if you would please warmly welcome Senator Chuck Schumer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, America's fishermen. And I'm so glad to see fishermen from New York to Florida, up to Massachusetts, down the whole coast. America has a large and strong fishing industry, and it's time our voices were heard. I am here today to tell you that the days of managing our fisheries with ideology, not science, need to come to an end once and for all. That's why I, along with Congressman Frank Pallone, introduced the Rebuilding America's Fishery Act. Now, rebuilding our fisheries is important. We know that, we agree. But we need to start caring as much about our fishermen as we do about our fish. Yeah. Fishermen are the backbone, the backbone of coastal communities across America. Generations of fishermen have supported their families and their communities by harvesting the sea. We need sound scientific findings that put the needs of fishermen and fish on the same playing field. I travel across Long Island. I travel across New York. I hear from fishermen of all stripes. Charter boat captains, long liners, tackle shop owners. They tell me, let's hear it for that tackle shop owner. <laughs> They tell me that the fish stocks are getting healthier, but excessive fishing regulations are gonna put them out of business. That's not fair, that's not right, and that has to change. So, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're all together, bipartisan, Democrat and Republican, gonna do about this. We're gonna give you more flexibility so that boats aren't tied up needlessly on the dock by some bureaucrat in Washington. Call your senators, call your congressmen, and tell them we need flexibility now. That's what we're fighting for, that's what you're fighting for, and together we won't stop until we get what we need. I pledge to you that. So in conclusion, I want to thank the RFA for bringing this problem to our attention. You're doing a great job advocating for America's fishermen. And particular thanks to some in North Carolina are struggling with rebuilding schedules that have forced fishery closure. And the Magnuson-Stevens Act is continuing to hurt our fishermen and their families. The 10-year deadline under this act is arbitrary and limits our fishermen's catch of red snapper, vermilion snapper, and grouper, just to name a few. We can balance the needs of our environment with the needs of our fishing communities. Yeah. As you just heard, Senator Schumer has introduced the Flexibility in Rebuilding American Fisheries Act, and I support this common sense bill. Yeah. It will give you, our fishermen, the flexibility that you need to do what you need to do best, and that is to fish. Yeah. From Alaska, from the Carolinas, from the Outer Banks, this is uh, balmy weather, but for us Floridians, this sucks. Yeah. Amen. Let me let me ask you something. Why, why is common sense such an endangered species in Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Are these people so smart that they don't need good data and good science? Are they so smart that they can't see that they're making you the endangered species and not the fish? Yeah. Yeah. It's so obvious. Why, when did flexibility become a dirty word? Why, why are they refusing to accept the fact that you build communities, you create jobs here in our country, and their intent in pursuing this policy is to drive our jobs overseas in yet another industry and kill our coastal towns and kill our working waterfronts, and we're not going to stand for it. If, if these tough economic times have taught us anything, it's that as a nation, we've got to still build things and grow things and create things and use our resources and harvest those resources to put people to work and keep families together in a long tradition that dates back before our founders. 
That's the strength of America. People who work hard before the sun comes up and long after it's gone down and actually build and create things as, as opposed to a stack of papers that come out of this town. That's who you represent. That's a proud tradition of the American spirit. The fishermen, the farmers, the people who build things. And we will be there for you. And your voice will be heard. And it is being heard. And it's represented here on this stage by the members of Congress who get it. And you're going to help us spread the word to those who don't. Thank you all very much for what you're doing. Yeah! Thank you! Thank you so much, Congressman Putnam. It was also my great honor to introduce another one of the fishing capital of the world's, Florida's, great congressman, Congressman Micah. Thank you. I'm John Micah from Florida. Um, we're the Florida folks. Let me, uh, let me give you a quick uh, history of my, uh, my involvement in this. Uh, listen carefully because you got to... You didn't come just to wave signs. We, we came to make a change here. A uh, fisherman came to me when this was first proposed and said, this is going to put us out of work. They're using uh, bad science, bad data, and they're moving forward. So I came back and I drafted a bill and got to Mr. Brown and some of the others along the coast to at least give you a fair opportunity to have this issue looked at, not to eliminate the ban, but just a fair opportunity to have this issue looked at. I've been around this place. I was a chief of staff uh, for five years, and I've been in Congress for 28, worked for a congressman. So I've been around here a long time. I am telling you, I have never seen abuse of an issue like was done to the uh, fishing community that was done on this bill. Our bill did not even get a hearing. Mr. Brown from South Carolina is the ranking member on the Resources Committee. It was not even heard. They Why? cut us off legislatively, they cut us off administratively, and they cut us off legally. How they pass it? How they pass it? Who's that? Who's that? Now I'll tell you what, how you win around here. Let me just be very blunt of how you win around here. You have to be in kids close your ear. You have to be a persistent bastard. Yeah. I'm good at yeah. it. And I'm, I'm good. telling you, we are not going to lose this one because you are going to persist. And you you do not leave a congressman or a senator's office without a commitment to co-sponsor and support this legislation. Do you hear me? Yeah. Congressman Tim Bishop, he's from the 1st District in Montauk's Port on Long Island, and he's been in Congress now for four terms, and from the very beginning, he has been one of the extreme fighters for our industry. So I'd like to introduce him to everyone from Long Island that's on buses that just got here. Please congratulate him. Yeah! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let me hear it from the folks from Montauk and Shinnecock. Who's here? You know, I represent Eastern Long Island. And Eastern Long Island is home to the two largest fishing ports in New York, Montauk and Shinnecock. But neither one is anywhere near as large as they used to be. And so what today is about is bringing these ports back, bringing your livelihoods back, bringing communities back, letting them be vital, letting you learn the livings that you want to earn. And also, this is about our heritage. I'm from Eastern Long Island. My family came there in the 1600s. It's a part of our heritage. And we need to preserve our heritage if we're going to have a future. And that's what today is about. So I am very proud to join with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle and support this legislation. I am very proud to join with Walter Jones and others and demanding the investigation that we have demanded. And I am telling you not to worry about the government being over their shoulder. That's what it is. Well, folks, your effort today bringing people together from all walks of life, from all across the United States, from both the commercial side and the sport fishing side, is the way we will win this fight. You need to make sure that you keep that up, just as you heard. Make sure you talk to every member of Congress, every senator, every House of Representative member to let them know Fishing is jobs. Fishing is your livelihood. We want to make sure that fishing is around, not just now, 
but for our future generations to make sure that, that they can enjoy what fishing brings to this nation today. That's what we all have to fight for. Yeah. Amen. Folks, I'm excited about what I see here today because you know how things change? Things change with grassroots effort. With I wish I was a fisherman Tumbling on the seas Far away from dry land And its bitter memories Casting out my sweet life